Hey guys, this is Justin Credible and this is Pro Wrestling 101. Today we're on the road, we're gonna be doing something a little different and my guest today is gonna to be Tommy Dreamer. Uh, I was asked to be here, uh, my longtime enemy, Justin Credible, uh, asked me to be part of the show and kind of the topic is what do I think you would have to do to make it for a lot of up and coming uh, wrestlers. Uh, a lot of people know uh, I love this business, been a fan of it since I'm nine years old. I've been wrestling since I'm 18, I'm now 42. I had that job in WWE where you hired guys, something what I looked for. I looked for talent. Um, your talent will get you so, so far. If you're just starting out, I have to tell you that it's a very, very hard business, but it's also the best business. And I see a lot of guys who go to a wrestling school and they think they can just, you know, get in the ring, take a few bumps, and boom, you're a professional wrestler. You need to study this business. You sh it should consume your life. It should, and when I say that, also know your expectations slash limitations. Uh, you can't do anything about your height, but you need to do something about your physical appearance and your body. And yes, this hot mess didn't always look like this, but through years of you know, a broken neck, broken back, messed up pecs, but I still always worked out. Um, you need to incorporate your entire life and dedicate yourself to it and totally immerse yourself into the business. And yes, you will need a side job at first, but this is just like any sport in the sense of you can't have the expectations you're going to do indies for two years and then make it to the main event of WrestleMania. Um, just like you don't play high school baseball and go right to the World Series or college football, you have to continue mastering your craft. Now with social media, you need to learn everything is so available at your fingertips. You need to learn the history of the business and see what guys that made money in this business, what they did. Don't steal guys stuff. Take what you liked as a fan and incorporate it and make it your own. Um, there, are, I cannot sum this up in one or, or, or three minutes or even five hours. Take advice from every single person that you can in the sense of people that made it. I, have, I wrestle every single weekend, most of the times, three times a week. Very rarely am I ever asked, hey, can you watch my match? And you have a veteran in the locker room who's willing to help you, but you don't ask. I'm not, I've, listen, I've watched a lot of bad wrestling. Um, I've watched a lot of good wrestling. Take advantage of people who have done something in the business to help you. And again, take a little bit of something that they've told you and adapt to it. Um, this is a very, very hard topic, but I guess what I would have to say is you also have to have, when I said the limitations, realize that, hey, it may not make it. But just because you don't make it to the WWE doesn't mean that you're a failure. Someone has paid money to see you wrestle if you actually go and pursue your dream. And if you think about it, because I'm, trust me, on a much different stage of my life and my career where I was so consumed about wrestling, that's all I ever wanted to do. But now I'm with meeting people that, you know, you don't attend weddings, you don't attend parties, family stuff, wakes, a lot of stuff. And you meet people like, man, you still pursued your dream and you're still doing what you love. And we all have that same dream and go at it 100%. And, you know, again, diet, workout, from yoga to MMA stuff. There's so much stuff you can learn. I learned something, I just did House of Hardcore 2, I learned something from my own show, and the day that I stop learning from this business is the day that there'll be no more Tommy Dreamer. Thank you, Justin, for doing this. Take care. Well, guys, that wraps up another edition of Pro Wrestling 101. I'm Justin Credible. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.